I'm gonna show you how to get any iPhone unlocked. This method will work for any generation. Now to start off, it's important to distinguish between three kinds of unlocks. The first kind of unlock is the network unlock, also known as a carrier or SIM card unlock. This will allow you to use your phone with multiple SIM cards if you travel or if you switch providers. This unlock will allow you to use it with any GSM carrier. Then you have the passcode unlock. The passcode is a security code in case you forgot it or if you lost access to your phone. And lastly, we have the iCloud unlock. This one is by far the most complicated type of unlock, but I will discuss some ethical solutions that you can do to get back to your account. So first off, we're going to start with the carrier unlock or with the network unlock. This one will allow you to use your iPhone with any carrier. So if you travel or if you switch providers, simply pop in the SIM card of your new provider and your phone will work. This is a factory unlock. This phone doesn't suffer any damages. It is 100% legal and I'm going to show you the best method to do it. Now, there are different options to get your phone unlocked. For example, you can take it to a phone shop and they can try to get your phone unlocked. What I don't like about this is that you give the phone to them and they have access to all your information. Another option is doing it through your service provider, but most of the times they don't want to unlock your phone. However, it is your phone and you should be able to do whatever you want with your phone. So I'm going to show you a tool that I've used and this one is the best one. I've used it many times. So the first step is to get your phone's IMEI number. To do that, go to the dial pad and dial star hash zero six hash. As you will see, the 15 digit IMEI number will show up in the screen of your phone. The IMEI number is also located in the settings of the phone and in the back part of the box. So once you have your IMEI number, we're going to go to this website. Here, we're going to request the unlock to unlock this phone. It's going to be all done remotely. So we're going to have to fill in all the information about the phone we're unlocking here. So, and then you have to enter here your IMEI number. This is very, very important. Make sure you enter it here 100% correct. If there's a mistake here, this method will not work. The last step is to enter your email where you want to be notified once your iPhone has been unlocked successfully. And now you just have to wait until they send you your email saying that your iPhone has been unlocked. The waiting time may vary depending on your phone's brand, carrier, model. So I'm going to show you how the email will look like after you receive it. So we're going to go to my personal email account. So this is the email I just got and it says your iPhone has been factory unlocked successfully. So let's go ahead and open this email. So the email will confirm that your iPhone has been successfully unlocked. And now the last step is to connect your iPhone to Wi-Fi to activate the unlock. So that's the way you do a network factory unlock. So the first thing is to connect your phone to Wi-Fi. We're going to turn it off and now we will insert a SIM card. The SIM card should be from a different carrier just to check if the unlock is activated. Once you power it on and your phone is connected to Wi-Fi, it will automatically detect the new carrier and your unlock should be activated. If that doesn't work for you, you will need to connect your iPhone to your computer using the lightning cable. Simply go ahead, launch iTunes, and you will get a message saying that your iPhone has been successfully unlocked. And that's it, guys. That's how you unlock any iPhone. It is exactly the same procedure for any other generation of iPhones. If you have any issues throughout this process, you can email Unlock River, and they'll just give you some assistance. Or you can also comment down below, and I'll try to answer as quick as possible. Now we're going to explain the passcode unlock. I'll give you a full step-by-step -step walkthrough on how to get your phone factory reset and unlocked. To unlock your iPhone, you will need a computer, you will need a lightning cable to connect your iPhone to your computer. If you have an older PC or an older Mac, you will need iTunes installed on your computer. I will include a link in the description of this video so you can download it. Now, before proceeding, there are some disclaimers and some things to be aware. Number one, this is an ethical way to unlock your phone. We will not be doing any kind of hacking or anything illegal. Simply, we're going to do a full factory reset on the iPhone. Additionally, all the information of this iPhone will be deleted. So if you have pictures, contacts, notes or anything else, all the data will be erased. Unless your information is backed up in your computer or in your iCloud, then you will simply be able to restore it back again. And lastly, if you are not the original owner of the iPhone you're trying to unlock, there's a chance that the phone will have an iCloud lock. That's a lock that only the original owner can deactivate. I will explain a little bit more about that in the next section. But for now, we are ready to begin. So the first step is to grab your phone. Make sure it is connected to your computer using the lightning cable. Make sure that it's detected by your computer or that iTunes is running in the background. And then we're going to do the most important part. We're going to enter recovery mode on this iPhone. Keep in mind that this may be a little bit different depending on your iPhone model. So to enter recovery mode, we're going to have to do the following. Volume up key, volume down key, and press and hold the power button. Keep holding it for 10 to 15 seconds. And if you did it successfully, you will see a screen on your phone confirming that your phone has entered recovery mode and needs to be plugged into a computer. 
If you do not get it on the right time, make sure you try it again and again, it will work. In my case, it didn't work the first time, so repeat it again until it happens. It just takes a little bit of practice. So if you did it correctly, iTunes will detect it. So on iTunes, you're going to get a message and you will need to restore and update your phone. Again, all the information will be deleted, so just proceed in case that's not a problem for you. By the way, make sure that your computer is also connected to the internet. This may take a while and it depends on the speed of your connection. So I'll be back once this is completed. So after a few hours, you can see here that my phone has been restored to factory settings. The iPhone is set as a completely new iPhone. And we're just going to go ahead, complete the setup, and boom, my iPhone has been successfully unlocked. Now, in some cases, there is a chance that you will have an iCloud lock, and that's what we're going to explain right now. The iCloud lock is one of the most complicated ones of all, because only the original owner is able to unlock this account. So you will need to request the forgotten password or try to get back access by contacting the original owner. If you are the original owner of your phone and you forgot the password, try to recover it somehow using the iCloud services. I will include an article in the description of this video that provides more useful links on how to solve your issue. But that's all for today, guys. This is how you get any iPhone unlocked. I hope this video helped you. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and let me know if you have any questions in the comment section down below. I'll try to answer them as quick as possible. Thank you so much. My name is Christian, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.